Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown, where we tackle everything from fitness, uh, the physical side, to the nutrition side, to the mental side, to uh, things such as epilepsy. This is a project that I'm doing actually for my wife. And uh, my wife has epilepsy. Uh, she's had it for probably three years or so. I don't even know anymore. It's been a while. So, um, if you watched my live stream yesterday, uh, I started this and I kind of got a sea. I'm, I'm doing a seahorse. It's kind of like a little. Uh, ow. Um, character that is associated with uh, epilepsy. And uh, you, I, I had a seahorse kind of going, but I went back over it because I didn't like it. So I'm going to try and. Uh, get something going here and uh, at least get kind of a base for the <coughs> seahorse and uh, then we'll go from there so I am NOT a professional artist I don't claim to be and believe me you'll know as I'm not so I probably should change clothes I got on my good sweats and my good t-shirt so it is Monday. I did have a pretty good bus route this morning. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, and uh, since I don't really know what a seahorse looks like, I have a picture of a seahorse over here. Now, I'm not going to go exactly by what I'm looking at. I'm just kind of looking. So... And uh, what I'm going to do here is basically do kind of, uh, I'm going to try and do like a white base. Kind of get it, the seahorse just put on here in white. And then let that dry and then kind of go over it with some other paint. Um, why? I don't know. Uh, to try and make the colors pop a little bit more, I guess. So, we'll see. The good thing about paint is you can redo it. You can go back over it and redo it. So, that's the good thing about paint. And I enjoy that. Now, I do have a shaky hand, so uh, I don't do beautiful clean lines when with anything, whether it's with a pen, pencil or paint or anything. So, Well, whatever your name is, thanks for uh, spamming my live chat there. Appreciate it. 
It makes me feel important. That you had nothing better to do with your day than to come into my chat and spam it with garbage. Thank you. I appreciate it. Never understood why people do that. But it is what it is. I think what my goal again is going to be is to just kind of uh, get this painted in white and uh, probably do a couple of coats of white. And if some of the paint is kind of raised off the canvas, I don't care. That gives it a, a little texture. Hey, John, Mr. McBean, Scottish Fitness. How you doing? So, uh, my wife has epilepsy, and the seahorse is kind of a mascot for epilepsy. And uh, she brought up wanting me to paint her a, a seahorse. And uh, I didn't tell her I was going to, so it's kind of a surprise. And... Uh, So, uh, trying to get this done. I started it yesterday. I did a live stream. Ow. And, uh, I had kind of a seahorse done. Not done, but kind of going. And I didn't like it, so I went over it. So, <laughs> better thought I'd drop in quickly. Hey, I appreciate it. I know you have a live stream coming up, and I apologize I won't make it. But my wife's not home right now. She's at work. So I thought I'd go ahead and get going on this. But I appreciate it, and I'll catch you in a little bit, all right? I'll make sure to watch your your live stream back. So, have a good one. I hope you get a lot of people in there. And I hope the storms weren't too bad your way. Okay, that's good. Good news. Yeah, we got we got storms and like tornado watches like it would be, you know, favorable for that type of stuff. But really, it just kind of blew through, had a little wind and a good, good bit of rain and it wasn't too bad. No power loss or anything. So it's all good. Hey, today's my leg day. Hey, go back and check out some of my videos. I don't know if you're... Uh, Catching them all, but I got a bunch of videos out there you might watch. Might give you a little entertainment while you're on the toilet. <laughs> So 
So again, I am going to do a couple of coats of this white. I, I like the way it's going here. Alright, cool. And again, uh, no, this don't really have anything to do with fitness, like my channel suggests, but it is mental fitness. Uh, you know, for me, I have depression, so stuff like this helps me. And plus, my wife has epilepsy, so that's kind of a mental, you know, uh, physical kind of disability kind of thing that she has to work with. And so, you know, uh, I kind of, I like to cover a little bit of everything, so... You know, I figure, you know, we can only show people how many times we can do a leg press or, or bench. And uh, once in a while, throw something like this in to maybe help some other people out. Maybe, you know, give you some uh, uh, inspiration to do something yourself. So... Now, I seen your cat. I gotta, I gotta watch your new cat video, your little short video. Good stuff. Need to make stuff. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes, you know, my other channel, Mikey Sun TV, I did everything on there, uh, from cooking to taste tests and book readings and playing darts and art and photography and video games and movie and TV uh, discussions and just the personal life type stuff and family videos. I did all kind of stuff on Mikey Sun TV. Uh, and that's and that's one reason why, why I made uh, the body beatdown is I wanted to kind of stick to more health and fitness type stuff. And uh, so... <coughs> You know, this this goes along with it, really. I waited in 2.48 this morning, so I'm going to compete at 2.42 this Sunday. Oh, yeah, the big day is coming up, ain't it? I hope you're uh, physically a, a little better now. Uh, of course, I watch all your videos, but a lot of times it's hard for me to know if it's, like, really recent or a little old. So, you know... I don't know if you're feeling great right now or if uh, you're still under the weather, but I hope you kick some butt. And if you live stream it, I'll, I'll definitely try and watch. For sure. Wouldn't it be great if you just laid down there and you pressed out 500 pounds? doing pretty good man yeah you're st still coughing yeah I've heard you coughing still on some of your videos and you've had this for like three weeks or so now be nice if you could hack it all up <coughs> maybe drink you a big bottle of some whiskey or something I don't know Yeah. Hey, 405 is a lot of weight. More than I ever got. Again, the most I ever did, I think, was 375. And I think I've done 380, but I didn't have any, I don't have any record of it, but I'm pretty sure uh, 375. Hmm. I'm happy with that. I wish I could have broke fours. Oh, you tried the, <laughs> you tried the alcohol? <laughs> Well, maybe maybe it'll push on through by the weekend, and uh, you'll do 
you'll, you'll do good at your meat. I hope you do. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll walk in there and feel like a million bucks and be just like, Rah, just tear it up. <laughs> that's what that's what I hope you do. Hope you do that. You know how sometimes we feel like crap and then we go in there and we do well. Remember, we, I think I posted that on one of your videos. Okay. Have a good live stream. I appreciate you coming in here. Thank you. If anybody happens to watch this video, which I don't get a lot of traffic, but if you happen to watch this video, go check out MacBean Scottish Fitness. He's a cool guy. He lifts weights. He's passionate about working out and health and fitness. And uh, he's a, a good spokesperson, a good role model for uh, us, us older people that are over 40 or even over 50. And uh, he can even be a good role model for people in their 20s. So... He's a strong old dude. I give him that much for sure. I need one pop in the back. No, not going to get it. right there Hope everybody's having a good Monday. I know a lot of people don't like Mondays, but I like Mondays. Because it's, it means I made it through the weekend. And I get to start my routine again, my working out. So. Like I said, I'm probably going to do probably two or three, probably more than that, uh, coats of this white to give my, uh, to be able to give my other colors kind of a pop. Now I could have drawn the seahorse out on the raw canvas and maybe even painted him on in and got that done and then put the background in but I went ahead and did the background because I like I think the background looks better when it's all kind of natural and whenever you have an object already painted in or drawn in or colored in or whatever and then you try to go in there and get around it it just, it looks like it's a lot of times you know separate I want it to look all nice and blended and finished and you know I want it to flow a little better this one turned out a little better than my one last night
Let me, uh, let me, forgot to share this on my Facebook. Not that it matters. Nobody, uh, nobody really watches, but just in case, you never know. Shared to Facebook. I don't get much activity on Facebook. Nobody really communicates with me or anything. I think it's because I'm not really into a lot of the mainstream stuff. follow news and politics and religion and hot topic newsy stuff and I, I don't care about all that stuff it's not a part of my life and that's what most people are about in this world so I don't really connect with a lot of people Yeah, this is turning out a lot better than last night. we go looking pretty good <laughs> looking pretty solid there guys <sighs> all right so we've only been live streaming for 25 minutes that's it I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a hair dryer to dry this real quick.
So, for those of you watching, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Again, this is based kind of off a mascot for epilepsy, uh, the seahorse. It is from my wife. So again, this is all we're going to do in this video is try and get this kind of um, just kind of layered up with some white. And that way, whenever I go back and I can paint over it, uh, the color should look a little better. Still kind of cruddy weather out there for us. I did manage to get in my walk this morning. Got my spin in a little early this morning. Uh, I woke up about an hour and a half or so early. Hey, if you don't mind, if you made it this far, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment all that good stuff to my channel, The Body Beatdown.
Doing good, doing good. Now, I know I'm no Bob Ross, but, uh, you know, we can't all be perfect. We just, we do things and we just enjoy it. And uh, don't always try and worry about perfection. And uh, we all start somewhere. And so uh, a good thing with paint is you can always just paint over it like I did last night. You'll see I'm kind of trying to go around with the flow there. If you ever look at seahorses, they are some of the most interesting creatures in the planet. They're just, they're so interesting. I wish I would have done the tail a little bit more like so. I can probably fix that. And I probably will. I'll just kind of do away with that part of the tail there. Oh yeah, I think that's a little better. We'll get rid of that little tail right there. <laughs> we'll get rid of that eventually. There we go. All right. Let me do a little bit. That's a little better. Again, we'll do away with that little part of the tail there. 
We won't tell nobody. But uh, so I'm gonna cut it off here. I think we're at thirty, just over thirty-six minutes, and uh, I'm gonna end up going back over this probably about two or three more times to try and give it a nice, uh, good white coat, a nice base, and uh, from there uh, we'll pick up with another video, and uh, we'll see what we can do, guys. I may put some fins or something on there right now. Yeah, let me do that. Let me go ahead and throw some fins on here. They need some fins. Some huckleberry fins. So. I think that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Interesting. So today is my leg day. It's one of my favorite days. Um, this new routine that I've been doing, I've just kind of come up with it. I'm doing six weeks of it. Uh, this is my, I think this is my fifth week that I'm going into today where, uh, I do one movement per body part for six weeks. Uh, just one movement. So the movement that I chose for legs was my hack press, my Titan compact hack press machine. And that's all I've been doing for my leg day. Uh, this is going on week number five and uh, Tuesday is chest day and the one movement that I chose for the six weeks is Smith machine flat bench uh, Smith machine flat bench <laughs> so uh, and Wednesdays are arms that's bicep and tricep uh, the one bicep movement that I chose for six weeks is our uh, concentration curls you know, you're sitting on the bench and you got your arm down like so, doing curls. And then uh, two arm, one dumbbell uh, skull crushers where you're laying down and you got the dumbbell behind your head and you're coming up like so. So that's my arm day for Wednesday. Thursdays are shoulder days. And the one movement I do for that 
is uh, sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. And then Fridays, I do back. And for back, for my six weeks, I've chosen to do Smith Machine Bent Rows. It's where you bent over and you row on the bar like so. And uh, so this is week number five that I'm going into. And uh, my reasoning behind it is just to see, number one, how I feel about each one of these exercises, uh, each one of these movements, and how I feel like they're really working on that one body part. Uh, because when you're typically doing a body part, you're doing two, three, five different movements f for that one body part. So how do you know what that one movement's doing? You know? So that's just kind of my reasoning, my little science project behind it. And uh, just something I'm doing uh, for the fun of it. And also it's kind of given me a break from doing the three, four, five different movements, whatever it is I might be doing per body part. It's given me kind of a break. And uh, just kind of let me rest on some of that stuff. And uh, once I hop back into my normal routine, uh, that it should be kind of interesting. And I'll go over that uh, and uh, see if this has had any effect on that. The, the way I've kind of done this. I'm going to give it a, a big old headdress kind of thing. Kind of like this. Kind of like so. Almost like a mane, since it's kind of horse looking. Kind of interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that. Hmm. I don't usually do stuff I like. Again, guys, uh, my wife has epilepsy. The mascot for epilepsy is a uh, seahorse. And uh, I had a... Oh... Let me look here. I think his name was Campy. I think that's what it was. Uh, the mascot's name is Campy, and uh, he's got, the little seahorses got epilepsy, and they have, you can go to IBE, International Bureau of, uh, International Bureau for Epilepsy, and it'll pull up the page, and it talks about it, and his little story, and then he's, and they got some little animated uh, little cartoons that you can watch with him, but uh, seahorse is kind of the mascot, 
And uh, so I'm kind of doing my version of that and uh, giving her a, a seahorse. Uh, she, she mentioned it yesterday, I believe it was. Hey, I know what you could paint me. And uh, she, she mentioned uh, the seahorse is a mascot kind of, you know, symbol for epilepsy. And I just kind of played it off like, eh, you know, whatever, you know. And, uh, and so I'm kind of doing this as a surprise. She don't really know I'm doing it. So, um, that's kind of what, that's kind of what I'm, that's why I'm doing a seahorse. So it's kind of to give my wife and, uh, yeah. So anyway, and don't forget, I redid this tail and this part right here is going to come off there. I'm going to blend that away, uh, whenever I'm done and, uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to put like three, four, however many layers of white on here to give it a nice base. And then I can put some color to it. And uh, then I'll do some more whatever, you know, that I can think of. I might put like another little seahorse here or there in the back, you know, some small something. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. But I might not want to take away from his majesty. I like his mane that I gave him. Looks pretty cool. So... Anyway, I think I'm going to cut the live stream here. Like I said, I'm just going to put a few more coats of this on and uh, get it to where it's a, a nice base. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, go check out the, the, the first video, the part one. Of course, it don't say part one, but you'll know it. it's part one. Now, I didn't really get anywhere except for really painting the background. And then I tried to get my seahorse going, but I went over it. I didn't like it. So it's basically just that, but it's also you get to experience kind of firsthand what I'm going through because I'm not typically into doing this kind of stuff anymore. I mean, I haven't really painted in 30 years. So um, anyway, it's just kind of fun to sit back and watch, and I hope that it gives you something, uh, some entertainment and some inspiration to do something yourself. Again, the body beatdown is more than just about the fitness lifestyle. It's also about the mental aspects of it and things like epilepsy and stuff like that again i have chronic depression my wife has epilepsy and so you know what better way to help the mind body and soul than to do some painting right and we could all use a little help there i think so anyway if you would please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down and uh don't forget guys get up get out get red and do it to it, even when you're painting a little teeny tiny picture of a seahorse. Well, it ain't teeny tiny. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, we'll see you all later. Have a good Monday.